What's up, guys? It's Bones Vines episode 89, and it may not seem like much of time has passed since my last video, or at least compared to before, but things still haven't been too good to me because I only found two things. The other two things I'll show are not finds, but were actually gifts from a friend, so thank you. I will specify which ones are, fi are finds and not, of course. So let's get on with it. This is the worst find, I guess. This is a Samsung Smooth, I believe. Now, it's just your typical Verizon CDMA dumb phone that is boring and not special in any way. I mean, you've seen this. If you're a longtime viewer and have been watching my videos ever since I first started this whole phone find saga, you'd know these all look pretty much exactly the same. I mean, there's nothing interesting about this phone, really. It's just a dumb phone that does dumb phone things. But yeah, it's in de decent condition, though. I thought I had one of these already, but I don't think I do. I have a very similar phone, however, but I remember that one was, like, smaller, and for some reason the ringtones were slightly high-pitched. This one doesn't do that, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. This is from a few weeks ago? I think I got this a week after I made the last video. And this is an Alcatel phone of some sort. I don't know the model number of it because it doesn't say anywhere. I, all I remember is it had a Metro PCS SIM card in it, the battery is dead, but there's no point in charging it because this thing does not work properly. The screen is completely destroyed. Like, when you turn it on, it'll just be showing lines everywhere and you can barely make out what's on the screen. Somehow the digitizer still works, but you can't really use it because everything will be shaking so much you can't truly tell where a button actually is. So, it's in its current state, it's unusable. Don't Like I said, I don't know what phone it actually is, though. But, yeah. I know the camera lens is actually warped, too. This thing was really not taken care of well. I don't know what happened to it. It's not even that bad of a crack, really. Okay, on to some, I guess, more interesting stuff. This is not a fun. This is actually a gift from my friend, like I said, so once again, thank you. This is a Samsung Starlight. Now, the reason the back is all weird like this is because I remember he told me that his goal with this phone was he wanted to try and use it as a camera for his RC car, and there was actually videos of that on here, but... I guess it didn't work or it kept falling. I don't know. I guess, I mean, I'm sure if you made like a proper mount for it, it would have worked fine though. But yeah, as you can see, the phone works like it works perfectly besides the fact that um the back's weird and there's a tiny crack on there, which actually to explain, like he said when he first got this phone, it was in perfect shape and he didn't like have this from his childhood. He has a tiny phone collection because his job, which I'm obviously not going to disclose because I'm not a doxer, but he like... He does stuff with phones, and sometimes he gets phones to recycle, and this was one of them. So yeah, it's just some very low-end phone, for, even for its time. I don't know when this thing was made. I'm guessing Samsung Galaxy S3 or S4 era, just judging by the sounds, like... You know the ones. And I believe... Anyway, anything to show here? Yep, Samsung Starlight. Is that Jelly Bean? Yes, it is Jelly Bean. Yes, this thing is not very well supported. Most of the, home, the, the apps on the home screen are not even real. They are fake apps. Wow. Man, the old Android things were cool. Now they're just lame. Yeah, most of these are fake apps because almost nothing is supported. Heck, even YouTube isn't supported anymore. Because let's see here. Yeah, this version of YouTube is out of date and no updates are available for your device. That is sad. I believe this thing has a Snapdragon 200, so that's extremely low end. Same deal with this phone. This also came from the same place, same person, same friend. This is an LG Stylo 4. I already have one. Actually, no, I have a Q Stylo 4, and this might actually be a Stylo 4 Plus because I believe the Stylo 4 has a Snapdragon, and this does not. It has a MediaTek processor. So let's get this settled right now. No, I did not say airplane. No, I did not say airplane mode. Let's see. About phone. Okay, no, I was wrong. It's just a regular Stylo 4, which is weird, considering, like I said, it uses a MediaTek processor, and I'm pretty sure the regular Stylo is supposed to use a Snapdragon 450, but it might be the other way around. I don't know. This thing feels fine to use for the most part. It works besides the fact that it works perfectly besides the fact that it's pretty badly cracked, although I can't say which one's cracked worse, either this one or the one I, the Q Stylo I got, like, in 2020, I believe. Yeah. I'm glad to have it though, it's nice to have this in my collection. Weirdly, it's a Virgin Mobile phone, like, this might be one of the last phones I ever made, considering Virgin Mobile has not existed for a while, and 
it was just weird seeing that. Besides that though, it has like no carrier branding. It actually, I just noticed, has no bloatware. Oh, I gotta show you this though. Turn off network connection to run benchmark app. In all my years of collecting phones, I've never seen that before. I'm just like, why? Are they ashamed of the score it would get? You didn't get a bad score in that app, but you're able to bypass that because if you just turn it off and then submit the bun like then turn it on app as you read as you're about to submit the benchmark, it'll let you. So you failed, LG. Yeah, I don't don't know why that's there, but let me turn this off because it does something interesting. A stock LG shutdown oh, man animation. I'm not one to usually comment on that thing, but that's not something you see every day, especially with a carrier phone. You usually see that with an unlocked phone. And if you're curious, I did have to Google like, bypass that phone. It was, you know, locked and was also meant to be recycled. But yeah, that's about it. I kind of like not the greatest finds, but I'm not too pressed about it. This just happens sometimes. And it is April, so you know what that means. The full phone collection video is going to be coming out soon. I'm working on it, and I'm in the process of actually charging some phones right now. I'm onto my second smartphone drawer. See how extremely full it is. Got some iPhones charging here. Been doing this all week long, so it'll be coming soon. Don't know when, but I'll try and have it out this month. I'm sure it'll happen, but likely not for a few weeks. But yeah, that's all I really have to say. You can stop spamming my comments about it now because I've noticed that, so please stop. It is extremely annoying. I get it. There, I guess there's some hype to this video, and I will be making it super long this time because people seem to like that better, which I'm shocked, but go off, I guess. That's it for this video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed.